Camford is an incredibly warm and vibrant school community, which develops gracious leadership so that all understand and fulfil a duty to guide, support and include others, and thus to make a difference to our society. It's a community where all are inspired to explore, and I don't just mean doing stuff, but rather how and why people do things and what lessons are learned and applied to life from those experiences. And that they do that with a sense of purposeful engagement. It's a community where all are empowered to express their thoughts, their words and their deeds by demonstrating a courageous attitude. Um, and that's really important because being principled and strong, yet reflective and respectful of others, takes courage. And it's a community where all are challenged to excel. And that's not about being the, the best at everything or anything, in fact, but it is about being ambitious and aiming high as that leads to action and progress. So that is very much what Camford is about and what it stands for. Well, I try to be the best head that I can be, but I suspect this is one where uh, different people may have different expectations and perhaps different views about different things at different times. So fundamentally, I really care very much about all those in our school community and that really drives much of what I say and what I do. So I hope that that is uh, something that, that, that feeds in and that influences what people think of me as a head. Well, I have two favourite sayings actually, and they are both on a similar theme. Uh, the ability that we all have to make a difference if we try. The first is from Ralph Waldo Emerson, uh, the 19th century American poet and writer. And he said, do not go where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. And the second is from Mother Teresa. Um, and she said, I alone cannot change the world, but I can cast a stone across the waters to create many ripples. So those are my two favourite sayings. Um, I'm going to say Winston Churchill, and that is not because he made such a difference at such a crucial time in World War II. Uh, and in fact, he had many views that I certainly don't agree with. But he did have a desire to continually challenge himself, to challenge others. Uh, and he never gave up, even though he had to face many personal demons and professional setbacks. So that's why I'm going to choose Churchill. One of the most emotional experiences was having to deliver a remote leaver service to our upper sixth last year. They were a really, really wonderful group of young people who had given a huge amount in their time here. And it was so hard not to be with them in person at that time. And I have to say that I, I almost lost it when I delivered my speech. Well, I have two, and they are both from The Jungle Book, uh, The Bare Necessities and King of the Swingers. And I'm terrible at singing both, but people do seem to forgive you when you sing these too. Uh, or at least they have been quite forgiving when I've sung these late in the evening at weddings, parties. So I think those are probably my, my two go-to karaoke songs. Well, it's very much that life will always have something new for you, so never stop listening and learning. Well, I'm going to be a little selfish here. I could choose something that would impact on the state of the world and so on, but I love my golf, so it would be the ability to land a golf ball wherever I want it to a land with every shot. Well, it would certainly be the capacity to offer what is a really inspirational and transformational education to many more young people who currently cannot access what we give here. Well, there have been a fair few embarrassing moments, but I think it was probably after my, my very first parental address where uh, I asked David Gower, who was then a Camford parent, whether he would uh, sign the, the cricket bat of my, um, my fanatical cricket-supporting 13-year-old son. Uh, and perhaps I asked him rather more publicly than, than, than I should have done. Uh, he was very gracious about it, but um, on reflection, that, that was pretty embarrassing. Thank you.